Good evening and welcome to Nocturnes and Rock Rolls Part 3. Okay, in the last concert, you remember, we went all over the world. But this time, we're going to stay right in Paris, in the world of the salons. Right, of the, of the Belle Epoque. And Sheila and I will perform for you uh, music by the two favorite composers of those salons, uh, Gabriel Fauré and Rinaldo Hahn. The painting behind the stage is Van Gogh's A Starry Night, which was painted in 1899. It's one of the most passionate paintings that I know. So, and I chose it because tonight we're going to celebrate two famous loves. But I'll tell you all the gossip later. Okay, please turn off your mobile phones. Please don't take pictures of any kind. Even the little red laser lights on some cameras are, are disturbing to the performer. We can see them. And as you always do, please listen attentively. Okay. And I ask this to, so not to interfere with the concentration of the performers and the enjoyment of your fellow audience members. Thank you and please enjoy.
When I first conceived of doing this series of music based on, of the music of Gabriel Fauré, the piece that was highest on my list was the song Cycle La Bonne Chanson. This is one of the most passionate and the most beautiful song cycles there is. It's also probably the only happy song cycle. There's no broken hearts, no suicidal lovers. And there's a good reason for this. In 1894, Foray met Emma Bardak. So Foray was a very quiet man, but he was very good with the ladies. He was also married. Emma was also married. Now Emma, she was a rich lady, she had a very beautiful voice, and she liked composers. And her, her husband, he was a rich banker, he said, that's all right, she she's just likes composers, but she always comes back to me because I have the money. <laughs> so I want to tell you that after Foray, she tried Ravel, but he said no, and then she tried Debussy, and she married Debussy. Which surprised her husband very much. Okay, now, the affair with, between Gabriel and Emma was very open, very public, in the French way. Nobody thought too much about it. And it was also very creative. So during the day, uh, Gabrielle would write songs, and in the evening, Emma would sing them for his family and his friends. Foray said that this, because of this, this was the happiest time in his life. Okay. You, you all have the translations and we've left the lights on so that you can follow them. I recommend it very strongly because these are songs that are based on the words very much. I also want to suggest that you listen not as nine separate songs, but as one very big piece, a kind of symphony for voice and piano. So if you listen carefully, you'll see that, especially in the piano part, Many motifs are repeated from song to song. For example, the very opening melody comes back at the very end of the last song. And the chirping birds that you'll hear in song number six come back in the last song. In fact, in the last song, all the motifs from all the eight, eight earlier songs come piling in together. Okay, thank you. Please enjoy.
Singer, songwriter, and he became everybody's darling. And especially the darling of high society ladies. His most popular song is called is when my verses had wings. It's the first song that Sheila will sing tonight. When my verses had, my wings. Verses has, had wings. And he wrote it when he was 14 years old. He later went on to write operas, operettas, chamber music, orchestral music, very successfully. And he also performed often as a singer. He had a kind of light baritone. We can still hear it on CD. <coughs> he was a very elegant singer, and his interpretations very deep. And he, he very often performed the songs of Gabriel Fauré. Han was the friend of the famous actress Sarah Bernhardt, a friend of the composer Maurice Ravel, and more importantly, the friend of the friend of the French writer Marcel Proust. Okay, Proust and Han met in 1894, and Han was 19 years old, Proust was 22 years old, and they became lovers. Mm -hmm. 
and their friendship lasted until uh, uh, Proust's death in 1922. Proust lived a very uh, solitary life, and Han was the only person who was allowed to visit Proust unannounced, without an appointment. Proust God, and it was Proust who closed, uh, it was Han, sorry, who closed Proust's eyes when Proust died. You have pictures of them both in your programs. Um, the piano suite I'm going to play, Portraits of Painters, was based on poems by Proust. And I think it expresses the tender feelings between the two men. I'm going to talk now about the songs before we play them. Just a little bit. Uh, the foray that we sang, those were songs based on text. The Han are songs based on melody. In fact, he called them melody. But I still suggest that you follow the words because you will understand the songs better. Thank you.
wonderful audience. Uh, the Encore, I guess this part you can translate to. Uh, when Faure became director of the Paris Conservatory in 1905, he commissioned many composers to write examination pieces. So they were, for the first time, contemporary music as examination pieces. When Faure was a teacher at the Paris Conservatory in 1905, he was a new teacher at the time. Uh, Ravel was one of Faure's favorite students, and he commissioned a Vocalese etude from, Faure, uh, from, from Ravel. Maurice Ravel, who is the director of Maurice Ravel, he wrote a Vocalese etude. Okay, and so we will perform for you now Ravel's Vocalese etude in the form of a habanera, written in 1907. The song is in the form of a habanera, written in 1907. Vocalist Etude in the form of the song of Habanera, which was released in 1907.
Lord. In my whole life, 